Okay, here we go. Um, we got some more monsters to kill. We're looking for Johnny in the swamp that he's told us about. Johnny might uh, know something about Siri. Might have seen her. And uh, you know, we need to see if we can find out a little bit more from him, whatever or whoever Johnny is. If Johnny's real, he must leave Prince. Indeed, he must leave Prince. Of course, now I'm out of Swallow, so I'm gonna meditate for an hour to get it back. So yeah, this Johnny guy. Uh, there's clearly something here going on. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. All right, found something. And more monsters. What a surprise! Tracks lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside. Johnny. Johnny? Dad, hey. Don't be afraid. Looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? Can't talk. What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Did little Timmy fall down the well? Want me to no, follow he you? Wants to follow. <laughs> no choice, I guess. Alright, time to do this. So, little Johnny needs us to find his voice, I suppose. Or something. Um, so, you know, I really like this about this world, too, is that, you know, there's a lot of uh, supernatural creatures in it. And, Damn it. You know, I think most of them probably qualify as monsters, um, but there are some creatures um, that are not necessarily evil. And you wouldn't necessarily kill them on sight. And, and many of them are, are, are sentient or sapient, you know, they're thinking creatures. Um, 
they're not human by any means. You know, they're not mortal. They're they're strange supernatural beings. Uh, in the same way that monsters are, but but they are. You know, they have minds. They have thoughts, and um, you know, they have presumably the right to live unmolested, generally speaking. You know. Stay close to me. This the place? Let me look around. Uh, Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Yeah, yeah. Guess I gotta make this climb. Yeah, I guess so. A raven nest. I got a point to spend here, so I'll probably be spending it. Yeah, I'm probably upgrade muscle memory. That's a nice one to have. So we gotta climb this cliff face to get to this raven nest. Of course, we have harpies, and I, I still suck at the crossbow. Surprise! I actually hit one there, though. That was... I'm not sure how I did that exactly. I managed to actually hit one with my crossbow. That's kind of crazy. So bad. I don't know, it's, it's harder than it looks to aim that damn thing. It really is. Like, it is tricky. Also, I'm, I'm generally not very good at shooters. Like, I'm way better, I tend to be way better at, like, sword and sword and sorcery RPGs than I am at, at, at shooters. If it requires me to have aim, I'm probably not going to be very good at it. <laughs> Unless it's like Mass Effect, which I've played like five times, and I'm actually pretty decent at. But that's just because I've played it five times and I have everything memorized. Maybe you meant bottle. this bottle. Maybe. I guess we're about to find out. Get a bunch of mushrooms. Here. Whiskey, slither, ringworm, rubbish, bumblebee, flabbergasted. Ha! The sound of it. Peter Piper, Pick Prince Proximo, a pack of pickled peppers by the Pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating? My favorite words! Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, you. noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a hey minute. Now. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this 
beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? Um, yes, I would. How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody used some You're powerful down. magic on you, as a prank or just to be mean. How do you so lose why? your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, cause word has it the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, and sick their dogs on me. Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. No. Oh, I thought not. So it must <laughs> be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. Interesting. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise. Downright glorious. Suddenly, right. heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared. Out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts. Quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. True enough, true enough. So what do you know what about What do you the know about the crones? They're as old exactly. as this forest. Cruel, vindictive, not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice, might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty, although they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word, but you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. No, oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. Thank you. Watch out! More drowners, of course. So uh, I think I'll probably finish this fight and we're gonna take a little break. And we'll be back and see if we can't uh, you know, actually talk to these crones finally. Um, just because, you know. In the interest of keeping things down to less than an hour apiece or, or try to. Come on! Like sort of like that. So dumb. Fist fighting a drowner. All right, there we go. So yeah, we'll uh, finish our, our talk and see if we can find these crones and, and have a chat with them. 
we're back. <laughs>